Coming up on the What I Needed to Hear series, episode six. I was so excited, so giddy, but your girl choked. That day ruined my confidence. By the end of this video, you will have three tips that will actually help you to raise your self-confidence. Hello, hola, bonjour, it's a saying. My name is Electra, and you're watching the What I Needed to Hear series. <laughs> Episode six. Whoa! Six Sundays in a row? Let me, let me do that. Bop, 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 okay? Because this is the most consistent I've ever been on YouTube in my entire life. So, <laughs> I am a proud. Thank you. As you can see by the title, How to Be a Confident Bitch. Episode six. Obviously, we are going to be talking about confidence, okay? By the end of this video, you will have three tips that will actually help you to raise your self-confidence. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna need y'all to hit that subscribe button. Like right now. What are you waiting for? Hit it, good. Now let's get on to the video. Mm. The first tip that I have to raising your confidence today is to step out of your comfort zone. Now I know you guys are probably tired of hearing debt, okay? But I need y'all to listen up. The absolute quickest way to boost your confidence, in my opinion and in my experience, is to actually do something that you're scared to do, something that you've always wanted to do, but never had the guts to do it, or something you just wouldn't normally do on a casual Wednesday. You know what I mean? So let me give you a little story time. I was invited to be on a cypher, a rap cypher. I was so excited, so giddy, but yeah, girl, Choke. Choke. Okay, I wrote this whole ass, complicated ass rap, okay? It was my fault, it was my fault. I literally wrote it two days before, practiced it the day before, but I could not get, I couldn't even practice it right. So when it came to the day of, I literally choked it. Oh my gosh, that day ruined my confidence. I said, wow, I can't even do a, a flipping cypher. What makes me think I should be a musician? It shot my confidence down to the floor. I did not want to go outside. I did not want to touch a mic again. I did not. My confidence was gone. I did not see any future of me in music. It took away my confidence from making music. It took away my confidence from even acting. It took away my confidence in regards to anything that requires me to use my memory. That's how bad it was. It really destroyed me on the inside. So my friend hit me up and she's like, hey, I want to go perform at open mic night. Do you want to come and perform with me? And I was like, shit like am i ready for that like what if i choke but then i said uh, -uh. how am i supposed to get more confident at performing if i don't perform so i did what i had to do and i got up there and i rocked them up the stage and everybody loved it and i was like you know what this is exactly what i needed to do if i did not step out of my comfort zone and go perform i would never have gotten more confident at performing like right now i don't really care to perform because i know that i could kill it regardless but before I didn't know. Before I was like, the last time I performed, I choked. So this time I have no idea. It was very scary. It was very daunting. It was very like <sighs> anxiety filled. And I said, what if I choke again? But then I said, what if I don't? What if I actually have a good time? What if they actually enjoy it? What if, what if, what if, what if? You know what I mean? So I performed, they loved it. I loved it. It was a good time, splendid. And that's how I got my confidence back. So what I'm gonna need y'all to do is choose one thing that you are scared to do that is obviously gonna benefit you, duh, and just go out and do it. If it's performing, go out and perform. If it's posting a video, post a damn video. If it's applying for a school, apply for the damn school. Do whatever it is that you feel uncomfortable doing but you know you need to do it to get to where you wanna be, just do it. Just do it like Nike. Cause you're never going to gain confidence in yourself if you don't actually take the actions that you're scared of doing or that feel uncomfortable to you. If you continue to act and behave in a very comfortable way, as in staying in your comfort zone, you're never gonna gain more confidence because you're not gonna do things that challenge your confidence to begin with. The more challenging things you do and complete successfully especially, the more your confidence is gonna raise because you're gonna have more evidence to prove to yourself that you're good at this or that you can do it. The more you do something, the better you get at it. And the better you get at it, the more confidence you have. Okay, so be sure to step out your comfort zone, go on that stage, post that video, drop that song, wear that dress, do whatever. And I promise you, your confidence is going to raise because I know mine did, okay? Okay. Just a disclaimer, if you do try to go outside your comfort zone and it actually doesn't work out, ah, you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> Next! All right, so number two to raising your confidence today is to be your own hype man slash hype woman. Okay, let me tell you something. Your friends can hype you. 
Your classmates can hype you. Your parents can hype you. Social meteors can hype you, all right? But if you are not hyping yourself, your subconscious is never gonna truly believe the compliments that you're telling yourself or the compliments that you're receiving from other people. Okay, so what I'm gonna need y'all to do, anytime you do something successfully, hype yourself up. Anytime you look good, hype yourself up. Anytime you post a good picture, hype yourself up. Anytime you submit that assignment, hype yourself up. Shit, anytime you wake up, hype yourself up. You need to be your biggest cheerleader. You need to really, really, really love on yourself. You need to compliment yourself. You need to vibe with yourself. You need to be aware and acknowledge the good things you do, the successes you have, the goals you achieve, the outfits you put together, the breakfasts you make. I don't even know if I said breakfast is right, but anyways, the more you hype yourself, the more confidence you have in yourself, okay? If you never call yourself pretty, if you never call yourself worthy, if you never tell yourself you love yourself, your confidence is most likely not gonna be as high as someone who is steadily hyping themselves up and steadily complimenting themselves and steadily making themselves feel good. If you want confidence, you're not gonna get it from the comments on social media. You're not gonna get it from walking down the street and hearing guys cat call you or girls come up to you or whatever. You're not gonna get it from any external factors, okay? Confidence is something that grows within. You can have the entire world hyping you, the entire world complimenting you, but you can still end up feeling like shit because confidence doesn't come from the outside. Of course, it's nice to get compliments. Of course, it's nice to get validation, but that's not what truly makes confidence. Okay, confidence is something that's within you. It's a feeling that you continue to water and nurture and grow. I feel like a teacher holding this pen looking like, hey, anyways, anyways, anyways. Like I said, confidence is on the inside and it starts on the inside. And I can say this from experience because when I was younger, I used to get complimented all the time, okay? I mean, look at me. <laughs> look at me, look at me. You looking? Cue montage. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. No, but for real, like people used to compliment me all the time in school, they used to compliment me all the time in church, they used to compliment me all the time everywhere. But I didn't genuinely believe those compliments were true because, well, personally, it was because I never really heard those things from my mother. Aww. So I just kind of assumed that like, if my own mom's not saying these things, if my own mom's not complimenting me, then that means everybody else is lying. And that really f with my confidence. But see, that was my problem. I was putting my confidence in somebody else's hands. I was putting my confidence in my mom's hands. Me depending on value validation from her was causing low confidence inside myself. I never felt confident in myself for a long time, even though outside I might've seemed like it because of my personality. I wasn't feeding myself internally. I wasn't growing my confidence internally. I was waiting for my mom to tell me that I'm beautiful. My mom told me that I'm good enough. My mom told me that I'm worthy, but it wasn't coming. Therefore, my confidence wasn't growing. But as soon as I started saying, you know what? I'm that girl. I am pretty. I am fine. I am confident. I'm consistent. I am really good at stuff. <laughs> I just had to just really build that up inside myself. And now I'm not waiting for someone to compliment me. I'm not waiting for a comment under my IG post. I'm not waiting for my mom to tell me that I'm pretty. I'm not waiting for this guy to tell me da 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 whatever. I am not waiting to receive validation, therefore I feel confident. I validate myself and therefore I feel confident. Clock daddy. especially for my people who actually have no confidence, no self-worth, no nothing. Hype up every single little thing you do. And the more you compliment yourself and hype yourself and make yourself feel good, the more confident you're gonna feel. Like, that's just the tea. And if you don't believe it, try it. Give yourself a challenge for 30 days. Every single time you look in the mirror, you tell yourself you're beautiful. And tell me you don't feel more beautiful than you did in the beginning, by the end. That made sense. Run it back if it didn't, but that made sense. Anyways, so on to number three of how to be more confident. All right, so this is something you may have heard from the self-development community. I don't know. But I'm gonna need y'all to listen to some confidence affirmations, okay? And if not confidence affirmations, listen to affirmations that align with what you wanna be more confident in. For example, when it came to that performance that I was telling you about earlier in the video, I said, I need more confidence and I don't have it right now, so what can I listen to? So I typed up, I am a superstar affirmations. And I found a whole bunch of affirmations for like actors, performers, whatever and I listened to it and it was just saying a whole bunch of good things about myself like I get standing ovations the crowd loves me like just a whole bunch of affirmations and I was listening to it over and over and over and I was repeating it over and over and over and all of a sudden I felt like Nicki Minaj all of a sudden I felt like Beyonce all of a sudden I felt like that girl all of a sudden I felt like I could do it all of a sudden I felt confident I felt like okay you know what I'm about to rock this stage and rock this stage I did 
<laughs> I don't know what it is, but there is something about listening to something over and over and over again that it gets like seeped into your subconscious and then your subconscious just makes you believe it. It's very interesting. This is like a scientifically proven thing. The more you listen to something, the more you believe it and the more you act like it's true. So if y'all need a confidence booster, listen to those gosh darn affirmations. You can listen to some confidence affirmations when you go to sleep. Uh, I don't know if y'all have YouTube premium or whatever. Put on some confidence affirmations, put it on a speaker, put it on low a little bit and go to sleep, wake up, you're still listening to it. Your subconscious is going to add that into the truths in your brain, if you get what I'm saying. When you're doing your makeup routine or your face routine or whatever, put on some affirmations. I personally liked the Wizard Liz's affirmations. Maybe I'll link it if I remember. That just makes you feel like a bad bitch, okay? You could listen to them while you're in the car driving or if you're on the bus with some earphones. Try to listen to affirmations as much as you can so that you can brainwash yourself into believing you're really that girl and then that girl you will be hello but yeah there is not just confidence affirmations there's beauty affirmations there's weight loss affirmations there's whiter teeth affirmations there are so many affirmations for so many things but for the sake of this confidence topic today go listen to some confidence affirmations for at least 30 days straight and tell me you don't feel a difference tell me you have nothing to lose you literally have nothing to lose you're already a loser <gasps> No, that was rude. But yeah, those are the really big three things to help me raise my confidence in regards to literally every aspect of my life, in regards to YouTube, in regards to music, in regards to how I feel about my looks, my body, etc., etc., etc. But let's do a little recap. In order to raise your confidence, you need to step out your gosh darn comfort zone. Another way to raise your confidence would be to be your biggest hype man slash woman because ain't nobody gonna hype you like you hype you, okay? Okay, you can literally tell yourself anything. You can say Beyonce is not touching me. You can say literally anything. As as long as it raises your confidence, okay? okay? The last thing would be to listen to affirmations frequently because my gosh, do they help. That was all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you actually took something from this video and I hope you actually apply these things from this video because these actually help me become a super confident woman. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go watch my last five episodes because if you like this one, you're gonna like those ones. Hello, my name is Electra and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.